Valeu, Saúl. Hello, good night. Good evening. Hello, um, <laughs> um, Jacqueline, Carlos, Rene, Raul, Carlita. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. How's it going? How was your weekend? Okay, Carlita, got it. Got it, got it, Carlita. Okay, so give me a second and then we start. Okay. So, you know, guys, we're about to finish um, tomorrow. So please don't miss the last class since, well, so that's going to be our last class for this uh, module. So I hope you all can be here tomorrow. Okay. Previously in our class, we were talking about a job hunting and in today's class, will we continue talking about that? Um, let me see. I'm gonna start sharing. Okay. Okay, perfect. Look at this. Um, well, as I mentioned previously, we were talking about job hunting and we're talking about some main uh, features about, uh, let's say, the profile of uh, someone who's looking for a job. And besides that, we discuss about some specific uh, characteristics, right? That you uh, might have, right? Or in order to get a job, let me see. Okay. So we're gonna be discussing first about the profile. Uh, what are your skills and job preferences? Take turns asking questions like these and others of your own. So for example, guys, are you good at communicating with people? What do you think? Uh, Saul, are you good at communicating with people? More or less, so <laughs> More or less, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, that depends, right? <laughs> Not all of us have that uh, skill, right? Uh, Carlos, Carlos Alberto, how about you, Carlos? Are you good at communicating with people? Yes, no, maybe. Claudia. No, Carlos, tell us, Carlos. Uh, no, no, you're, no, you're very, very good. Oh, the question is, are you good at communicating with people? This one, can you see that? Uh, communicando yes, uh-huh. Uh, Are you good at communicating with people? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, nice. Um, How about remembering names, Claudia? So are you good at remembering names? Um, I have troubles with that. Yeah. Cla huh, Claudia? Realistic. Mm, that's the third one. Oh, well, the second one. So are you good at remembering names? Yes or no? Guys, uh, Fernando, how about you, Fernando? 
sorry, uh, the, the transmission is, uh, uh, I don't hear you clearly because oh. um, I, I, we have to conduct a mobile. Oh, okay, got it. I'm gonna maybe turn on my video so maybe it, it can improve. It, well, maybe it improves. Okay, so the question is this one. Are you good at remembering names? Um, I was telling you that I'm not really good, right? Um, uh, I forget names most of the time. Or uh, I get confused when I see some similar faces. So I'm not really good at this. Um, uh, kind of, right? But not that good. So as I wished. Um, how about you, Irma? Irma, how about you? Are you good at this? Uh, remembering names. Um, this one, Irma. This one. This one. I think yes. I am good remember names. Remembering names. Okay. Well, that's great. Um. Most of the time I have like 20 students. Um, it takes me some time to learn their names or memorize their names. And um, well, that's kind of additional right? exercise <laughs> for your memory. But well, that's good. Let's see. Isabo, what do you think, Isabo? Uh, are you good at solving problems, Isabo? <coughs> So solving problems. Are you good at solving problems? Um so so teacher. So so um okay. Yeah. Okay, well instead of saying no that that's that's good. <laughs> okay. So so maybe I can help you, but I don't know if that is going to work. <laughs> okay. Um well, you know, in my case I think I try to help people, but Mm, yeah at the end they they like they decide what to do okay Jacqueline how about you Jackie Jackie are you good at solving problems Jackie why so Jackie how about solving your own problems Jackie solving your problems are you good at this <laughs> so, so. <laughs> maybe okay uh, Juan Carlos how about you Juan Carlos you good at remembering names or solving problems Juan Carlos Maravilla <laughs> mm, okay Juan Carlos okay uh, Carlita, Carlita, let's see. Next question is for you. Are you good at solving problems or making decisions quickly? Let me know if you're a listener, okay? Oh, okay, got it, Carlita, thanks. Marco, Marco, tell us, Marco. You good at making decisions quickly or solving problems, Marco? What do you think about you? Okay, solving problems, yes. But mm. making decisions quickly, no, I take my time to decide. Mm, okay. Unless it's uh -huh. not something important. How much time do you take in order to do that? Um, Depends. It depends so, on the situation. On mm -hmm. situation, yes. So, so which could be an estimate? How much time have you uh, taken in order to take a decision when it comes to something important in your life or at work? How much time? Well, I think that one of the most important decisions in my life, it took me almost a year to take almost it. a year wow you took your time <laughs> yeah you took very, your... very 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 important was it difficult was yes it difficult to Definitely uh was difficult. to uh -huh, to come to that um final decision yeah yes 
Okay. Yes, I remember that that decision I took finally in December or okay. on in November. Mm -hmm. Did you ask for a, any advice or did you talk with uh, someone you trust? Either, yes. I or talk. you did it on your own? No, no. I, I have, I have, a, I have help. Okay. I, I receive help. You ask for help, yes. Okay, nice, yes. nice, Marco. So that's good. So taking your time is okay, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see. Let's see what else do we have. Raul. Hi, Raul. Okay. Maybe if he's not here. Uh, Rene, Rene, um Rene, tell us. You good at making decisions quickly or meeting deadlines? What do you think? Um Saul? Hi Saul. Now activate your microphone. Yeah, thanks. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you good at making decisions quickly, Saul, or meeting deadlines? Um, it depends, I think. Mm -hmm. I can make decisions quickly when I used to working or doing some, something like about my Mm, work, okay. Or... So, how about meeting deadlines at work? So, are you good at this at meeting that deadlines? So, that specific dates where you have to, let's say, have something done, uh, for the company. For example, uh, let's uh say that you have been asked to finish, the, let's say um report or something related to your job by let's say well within two or one week so are you good at doing that at finishing that on time um no i take time for mm. Mm, have you taken so more time have you taken more time in order to accomplish uh, that deadline, to meet that deadline? But what do you, what do you mean with deadline? What oh, is that? What is that? Yeah. de plazos. For example, you have been asked to write a report by Monday, for example. And oh, report. Uh, let, that's an example. That's an example. It could be something else, but maybe they have asked you to to meet that uh, deadline. Le han pedido que cumpla esa tarea en ese plazo. So, do you think that you're good at meeting deadlines? Yeah, I think I. So. <laughs> you think I'm so? Not... Mm -hmm. quickly yeah oh, yeah 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 i think that we all have like some sort of problems right when it comes to do that but well we must try <laughs> we must try i mean indeed yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's part of job yeah uh-huh uh, you know there sometimes you have some nice bows let's say <laughs> but not not all that time right so um, I think we have to try to meet that deadlines. Okay, let's see. Do you have any special skill? Um, let me see who's at the top. Do you have any special skill? Carlos, any special skill, something that you can do? Any special skill, for example, uh, maybe using the computer, um, typing, maybe good at with numbers so do you have any special skill yeah teacher uh, more time or uh, 
I go play soccer. Mm, okay. And how about, okay, so that's good. How about your job? So do you have any special skill in order to uh, come to do your job? Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I about, about my job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I go uh, uh, use, uh, use uh, my computer. Mm, okay. Is there any program that you can use um, besides, let's say, the basic? Or uh, is there any software that you can use? Any special software? Yeah, uh, platform, platform to uh, uh, her, her name is uh, Safis, System mm -hmm. Safis. Oh, wow. It's okay. the platform, platform. Yeah, mm -hmm. the platform uh, that the I, I'm used. Oh, okay. Nice, interesting. Let's see. Uh, how about you, Fernando? Fernando, or let me see, Claudia. Okay, Claudia, Claudia, tell us. How about you, Claudia? Do you have any special skill or skills for your job, Claudia? Yeah, I think we all uh, have some special skills when it comes to job or, or working. Claudia, do you have any special skill? Yes, teacher. Um, what uh, can you special, My special skill is uh, um, uh, assessor financier. Uh, so you're good with estate. numbers. Okay. Uh, numbers. Uh, um, yeah, I think so. You're good with numbers. Mm -hmm. So um, with financial things, uh, let's say numbers i'll say um well i'm not really good at this you know <laughs> that's why i studied english <laughs> i'm honest yeah but claudia one day maybe you can help me <laughs> okay nice, nice claudia so you know it's really good to know people who knows about one's particular subject or uh, let's say has some knowledge about something in particular since we all need help right in different areas okay let me see um fernando how about you fernando do you have any special skill um well uh, i think i'm very good for the computer i think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're good uh, at using computers. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. You know, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, uh, nowadays uh, we use computers a lot. We use a lot of softwares, platforms, and we all have to be ready for that. So it's like a headache at the beginning. Yeah. Because, uh, well, I remember that when I started learning about some platforms, it was kind of the hard, but um, at the end, well, it took me some time, but well, at the end I learned. So I had two. <laughs> That's for work, right? Let's see. Um, Irma, Irma, how about you, Irma? Do you have any special skill? Yes, I have a... Um... Knowledgement about the programs Microsoft Office mm, okay. and the new platforms used in the actually. Okay, used nowadays. Okay, nowadays. Um, or nowadays. some nowadays. 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 Okay. Yeah, or mm -hmm, some platforms that we currently use. Currently use currently instead of actually currently. Okay, good, Irma, nice. Yeah. Mm, so can you mention some, let me see, some, uh, maybe let's, uh, some programs that you use. Uh, Irma, what are some programs? I use Illustrator. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Excel, uh, Word, Teams, 
Zoom. Uh -huh. Okay. These programs. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And that's, um. well, I think that that's part of the programs that we are currently using in the present. Okay. I like that. Um, let me see, Isabo, Isabo, you hear Isabo? Do you have any experience, any working experience? Um, I don't work right now, but I have experience in medicine. Okay, that's, that's part of it. I, I see bodies and I take your hands or foot, feet. And oh. I have experience um, in basketball. I have a certificate for the teach basketball. No, really? Yes. Okay, so that that's good. Um, well, well, you know about medicine, so that that's great. So I think that 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 will help you in the near future if you're looking for a job that maybe it's uh in that area um so i i think you were trying to say that you can take the vital signs vital signs like it's very similar to spanish vital signs okay and you also have some certificates do you have certificates uh on medicine or something like that um nursing maybe Medicine or nursing? Um, I have a certificate in nurse. In nursing. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Yeah, I think you're doing good. You're doing good. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, how about um, let me see who's here. Juan. Oh, okay, Carlita. Uh, Marco. So tell us about your experience. Do you have any, uh, besides having a special skill, you can mention your special skill in your experience. Um, Carlita? I don't know if I ask her. No sé si ya le pregunta Carlita. Carlita, hello? Uh, okay, so I think she was a listener. Um, okay, um, Marco, 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 tell us, Marco. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we're talking about the skills that you have or any particular skill and about your experience. And do you have some certificates or diplomas in order to, let's say, do what you do or to do something the, something else besides what you do now? Well, well, I think one of my <laughs> was like three was... questions in one. <laughs> Okay, Michael. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that one skill, I think it's a good skill is I tend to have a deep reflection about what I'm doing. It's Maybe like a, so you're it's good. like a philosophical reflection about what mm -hmm. I'm doing with my life. Mm, okay, so do you use that skill at work? Yes, I try to do it when I am analyzing or checking something mm -hmm. of the universe, of the college, or uh, my my pasantia. I I try to to mm -hmm. use it in that situations. Let me see. Well certificates well i have like three courses well one course is about a uh, human right human rights mm -hmm. transitional mm -hmm. human rights yeah another about a uh, other two branches of law that is civil mercantile mm, okay. and i am um, this moment I am uh, having a course about human rights, human rights, constitutional law, and oh wow, I don't know how to what say it. Study, it by the way, what did you study? Us, 
Are you a lawyer or something like that? No, I'm, I'm a still a student, but I am in the last year. Oh, yes. you yeah, to become I a lawyer. Was... Yes. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was listening to what, what you were saying, and I thought so. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Well, you know that's kind of interesting. Um. And by the way, besides English, do you uh, speak any other from foreign language? No. No. Okay. No. Would you like to learn another one? Maybe Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Japanese. Yeah. That would be great. Okay, so we have a lawyer, nice. So I discovered um, an accountant, I guess, a lawyer, nice. Okay, let me see, um, how about you, um, Saul? Saul, tell us about your skills. So do you have any special skill? I don't think I use... I use to start studying uh, computer technical. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the technical. technical. Yeah, technical. Yeah. But, um, what are some programs that you're learning about? Uh, yeah, but that's an uh, old program like Windows 90, 95, I think. Mm -hmm. and PowerPoint. And... PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Do you but, use this? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Tell me. But I usually I use get a, a diploma for a drive. <laughs> drive okay. And yeah, like I drive a Oh, can you drive? Uh, at the, at the, yeah, um, and at, at the, uh, how do you say it? Attention al cliente. Customer service. Then, customer customer service. service. Yeah. Customer, customer service. service. Yeah. yeah, I know. Um, I know. Um, so you say. Uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you were talking about um a driver license, and I guess so. some trainings. Yeah. On. yeah. You have some training. Yeah. I have many experience about about working in a warehouse too. I know. Oh, okay. Driver, I think elevators or probably. Or any machine like that. Like. Oh, are you a technician yeah. or are you an engineer? No, no, I just started working at like as a study like for um system. Let's say system as in computation. Like mm -hmm. yeah, but no, I just work for for a company like doing mm -hmm. yeah computer like, systems um, computer systems yeah but the company that you work for is um related to what field to what field any particular field which is the field campo <laughs> which is the field um yeah what, well, what do you do in your company? Well, in that company. In that company, will not work. Uh, I did labeling, like they, they call labeling, like packing, yeah. things, many things. Packing, like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. packing, like uh, making labels to mm -hmm. put in the, uh, the boxes and then, then then order. Then, no, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doing like, how do you say tarimas? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tarimas. Oh. I don't know. 
Yeah, but, yeah, but I, I got some of your yeah. abilities. And you know, you mentioned that you have like uh, your driver's uh, diploma. So that's good. So that's another skill that you have. So you can also use that in order to work with a different company or with uh, or doing yeah. something else or having like a second job, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can also, yeah. Um, some days ago, you were mentioning that you were thinking about running a business and about, let's say, driving, right? So since you have that skill, so I think, so it could work. It could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started, but I just broke that. that, that, that um, I think it, it, it comes like bad my seat and how do you say but but brown machine like i don't know mm, that, okay so the brown was not work. good right it didn't work so what did you it buy didn't work good what did it you buy like a motorcycle good, yeah. or a car no it was um like taxi i don't know how to say that um, taxi. um yeah like, it taxi. has the same you can say the same or a motor has a name, let's say. Toki Toki parece que le digo But is it a moto motorcycle taxi? Maybe if it's the one that is used in urban areas or cities, urban areas. No se son las que utilizan la zona urbana. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, motorcycle taxi. In the notes, so I make um, I make a, a how do you say food like American food? I don't know how you call that. Mm, no, I don't know. I don't know. So. Okay, okay, but yeah, got I got your point. So let's see, guys. And just to conclude with that, um, how about do you like traveling, commuting, or working evenings, guys? Uh, you so do you like that traveling, commuting, or working evenings? So you like to work at night? Yeah. I, yes. I, okay. I so you don't have any problem at working night. at night. Okay. Cool. No, I so, have experience working on lights. It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, great. So you know, this is kind. This is like an interview, right? We're getting like some information about your um, profile, about your background, about some, something that you that you know, right? So in order to see, okay, so we're looking for that profile. Okay, so I'm learning from you guys. Um. Fernando, Fernando, how about you, Fernando? Do you like traveling, commuting, or working evenings? Okay, Fernando, yep. Um. Okay, Irma, how about you, Irma? Irma, tell us, do you like traveling, commuting, or working evenings? No, I don't like because I have a, a family, mm -hmm. two children, mm -hmm. and it's the time that, that I used to. I, I to relax to say, and yeah. Yes, and and care for my kids. My kids. Mm hmm. So I think you won't be able for um position which includes working evenings, right? So you won't be able to work uh during the evenings. Yeah, and I understand that. Yeah. How about traveling? Do you like traveling? For example, here in El Salvador, well, it takes us like two hours, right, to get to work. So do you like traveling? Yes, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, no, nowadays I work nearly. Oh, nearby, I'm, nearby, nearby. 
okay, mm -hmm. and and avoid the traffic. Mm. Okay, well, that's perfect. So I wish I could have a work like that. Yeah, nearby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I think that you don't have a problem with that. And let me see. Isabo, how about you, Isabo? So do you like traveling, commuting, or working evenings? Or do you have any problem with that? I like traveling. You and like traveling. visiting other country. And for example, Korean, my favorite country. Okay. And, but I don't like uh, travel because I I like uh, staying in my house mm. and with my family. Mm. So I think you would prefer an online job, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. Or studying online. Or studying online. So I think you have troubles commuting. Uh, commuting. Commuting means, uh, let's say, uh, traveling by bus or by car. Commuting. Transportar. Uh, transporte, so, right. So that's commuting. Uh, transportarse. So that's commuting. Okay. So, well, I, I see your preference. So they understand that because, uh, well, I know, I know how, how, how we feel when we travel, when we commute from one place to another and it takes like yeah. too much time, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you have problems working uh, at night? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like working at night because... I I have more sleep, and I I I don't stay. Um, how do you say despierto? Awake. Awake in the in the night. Mm, okay, so you cannot stay awake. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I have discovered a lot of things for you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, so. I, I don't know. I, I think I need to revise. I need to check the profiles and and see. So which could be the best position for each of you. But uh, there are some of you who has um, a nice profiles. Well, all of you, right? All of you. So you're good at what you do in that specific field. Okay, so let's see, let's continue. Um, I'm gonna show you, let me see. Um, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have some job and work, uh, jobs and work questions. And look at this, what kind of job do you want to have, guys? Tell me, so what kind of job do you want to have? Uh -huh. So what? Um, well. Uh -huh, Fernando. Um, I in my case, I love too much the uh, I, mechanical. You know, well, I want to have a a mechanical job. Okay. Okay, good. Let's see. How about you, Marco? Is there any specific kind of job that you want to have? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, tell me. Uh, so sound engineer. Mm, okay, I like that idea. And you have a nice voice, so I think you can do it. <laughs> tell me when you do it. <laughs> so do you work uh, doing that? No? No, but I would like. Okay, so yeah, I have some friends. Um, well, I have a friend who works as a DJ. I don't know if that counts, <laughs> or is it uh, different? Uh, no, it's different. It's yeah. a kind of different. Uh huh. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Uh, how about you, Isao? So, what kind of job 
do you want to have? Mm -hmm. So, for example, I like to work. I like to work as, uh, uh, for example, uh, an artist, um, I don't know, a writer or something, something different. Jacqueline? No. Jackie, hello. Can you hear me? Okay, let me see. Um okay, maybe um okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is Savo here? Jacqueline? No. Okay, so let's switch into our next question. Okay, Jacqueline, yeah. Yeah, I know, it's been raining. That's why I have my camera off, because I don't know. I don't want to have, uh, like, some troubles, right? So I need you to listen to this. Um. Uh, how much salary can you get from the job that you want to have? Maybe, uh, let's see, Saul, tell me. So what kind of job do you want to have and how much salary can you get from this job? Uh, okay. I like to work as an uh, airplane pilot. Oh, okay. In, uh, okay. Uh, love that idea. Yeah, love it. And I like to learn like about thousand five hundred. Five hundred? Five hundred or five thousand? Mm, being a pilot. So do you think a pilot earns um no no uh, I say one thousand five hundred. Oh okay. Okay. One thousand five hundred, yes. At least, yeah. Okay, well that that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, too much. <laughs> so it would be a great idea, you know. <laughs> but I think it's gonna take some time, right? Okay, well, it will be great. And you, Marco, so how much salary can you get from that job that you uh, mentioned? A uh, sound, uh, sound technician. It's sound technician, yeah. Well, it depends. I think, I, like, uh, I, how do you say in English? Like, F. It's a boss. It's like the boss of uh, sound engineers. I think they can they're around I don't know if more than five thousand. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. No, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So why are you starting to become a lawyer then? <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> life has some, life is very interesting. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, I know. Well, I see that you have some good ideas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But... Yeah, but you can do it. No, come on. You can do it. Yeah. In a future, in a nearly, in a very, very near future, I, 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 I trust that I can. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, you can, so yeah, you can do it. Indeed, you will do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, that, that was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And how about that kind of jobs that you are, are thinking about, guys? Are these jobs easy to do or not? Carlita, um, let me see. Anybody? Isabo, Irma? Irma, okay, Irma, tell us, Irma, Irma. So what kind of job would you like to have? 
I like have I like uh, I would like uh, product development manager mm -hmm. and I like uh, I would like uh, two thousand dollars two thousand dollars yeah okay yes. yeah that's fair here in El Salvador but that's kind of hard to get that right mm -hmm. yes uh I, okay so what is your occupation right now so what do you do so are you doing something to to get that job yes i work as a technical designer oh okay in a, in a apparel company okay mm, okay um okay and from the job that you mentioned so how much salary can you get from that job so what do you think so how much could you get sorry i don't understand ah how much salary can you get from that job how much salary for the new job for yeah, the for, job yeah, for, I the, like. yeah for the one you want Mm, the double the double four thousand yes. four thousand or two thousand three thousand three okay three okay yeah. three okay three thousand um do you think that you have the qualifications to do that Do you think that you have the required? How how do you, what do you think, guys? Do you think that you have these qualifications? How do you consider yourself in that case? Creen que tienen esas? Um, I mean, no esas my características. Case, yeah. I think we have not in not in my case. I think. Mm -hmm. I yeah I. I Mm -hmm. I gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Mm -hmm. So you have to start doing something to be, to do that, or yeah, at least be. um, well, doing something that you think that you can see that uh will help you to to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And okay, thanks, guys. So now uh, we're gonna continue. So I have seen what are some of your expectations about your jobs. So you have like high expectations and that's good. And now I'm gonna show you a reading, okay? So I'm gonna show you the reading and we're gonna be listening to that. Mm, let me, let me see. Can you see that reading? Jobs and work, the most stressful jobs. Yep. Yes, I can see. Yes, I can see it. Okay, so we're gonna be listening to that, and after that, uh, I think I hope we can have some more time in order to uh, have a second listening, and uh, but in that second listening, you will uh, have the opportunity to complete the some sentences or to fill in some gaps. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one just for listening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recently, my nine-year-old son proudly announced to me that he wanted to become a commercial airline pilot when he... ...about airplanes, and he loves to play airplane game apps. It's great to know what career you want at such a young age. As well, the average annual salary for an airline pilot is quite good, 105,270 US dollars. Also, being an airline pilot means that you might travel to many exotic locations around the world, places that most people might never get a chance to see. However, I wonder if his choice of career is one that I should encourage. You see, 
This morning, I googled most stressful jobs, and I discovered that my son's dream career is actually the third most stressful job on a list of top 10 most stressful jobs. This makes sense, because as a pilot, you are responsible for the lives of hundreds of people. You are away from home for many days at a time, and you may have to fly through many different time zones, which can be very difficult to adjust to. Number one on the list was military personnel, soldier, and number two was firefighter. Of course, jobs like these are very dangerous. You must put your life in danger almost daily. Interestingly, however, taxi driver was also on the list at number 10. Okay, so that was the first part. Second part, uh, we're gonna be completing the paragraph by circling the correct words. But in this case, I need you to, um, okay, so I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so at the end, you have to tell me which is the correct word that we have to add into the spaces uh, below, right? Complete the paragraph by circling the correct words. Let me see, I'm gonna play that again. So I suggest you to take some notes, okay? So you're gonna have feeling in, well, 12, 12 uh, gaps. So here we go again. So take notes, take notes. Recently, my nine-year-old son proudly announced to me that he wanted to become a commercial airline pilot when he grows up. I'm happy for him because he spends hours reading books about airplanes and he loves to play airplane game apps. It's great to know what career you want at such a young age. As well, the average annual salary for an airline pilot is quite good, 105,270 US dollars. Also, being an airline pilot means that you might travel to many exotic locations around the world, places that most people might never get a chance to see. However, I wonder if his choice of career is one that I should encourage. You see, this morning I googled most stressful jobs, mm -hmm. and I discovered that my son's dream career is actually the third most stressful job on a list of top 10 most stressful jobs. This makes sense, because as a pilot, you are responsible for the lives of hundreds of people. You are away from home for many days at a time, and you may have to fly through many different time zones, which can be very difficult to adjust to. Number one on the list was military personnel, soldier, and number two was firefighter. Of course, jobs like these are very dangerous. You must put your life in danger almost daily. Interestingly, however, taxi driver was also on the list at number 10. Okay, guys, let's see. So what do you have for the first um, space, number one? It's B. B, okay, number one is B. And then we're gonna uh, listen a second time so you can uh, test that. Number two? Let's see, I'm gonna move it a little bit. Number two. What do you think? You can open uh your microphones. Number two. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, got it. Number three. Marco, Saul, uh, Saul, Mirna, what do you think? Karen, Jacqueline, three. Is A. A. Okay. How about four? Okay, so let me show it to you. 
Okay. There you have four. Uh, okay, so you have at, two, and four. At, two, and four. Which could be the best answer? At, two, or four? Uh, four, letter C. Four. Letter C, okay. Letter C. Good. Okay, number five. Option C. Okay, C. Five is E, okay. Six. I wonder if him has or his option B B okay got it seven A A okay A Saul how many do you get how many do you get Eight, about eight. Actually, the third. Uh -huh. Sorry, A, A. A, okay, yeah, A. Nine, so we're about to finish. As a pilot. Nice. C. C. Okay. And let me see. Uh, no. Okay. 10 and 11. Okay. 10 and 11. Okay. So we have one more. 12. 10. What do you have for 10? Has, have, or had? You may have B, B. B, you think it's B. Yeah. I agree with you. Uh, 11. I think it's C. It's, mm -hmm. it's B. You think it's a C. Okay. And the last one. You must. So, are very dangerous. You must. A. Well, mm. A. Letter A. Letter A. Sure. <laughs> no B. Letter B. Letter B. B. Okay. So I'm gonna play the listening for the last time and. You have to check that. So let me do it a little bit smaller. Okay, so here, um, maybe you can see that perfectly. Okay, here we go. It lasts a minute and 40 seconds. Recently, my nine-year-old son proudly announced to me that he wanted to become a commercial airline pilot when he grows up. I'm happy for him because he spends hours reading books about airplanes and he loves to play airplane game apps. It's great to know what career you want at such a young age. As well, the average annual salary for an airline pilot is quite good, 105,270 US dollars. Also, being an airline pilot means that you might travel to many exotic locations around the world, places that most people might never get a chance to see. However, I wonder if his choice of career is one that I should encourage. You see, 
This morning, I googled most stressful jobs, and I discovered that my son's dream career is actually the third most stressful job on a list of top 10 most stressful jobs. This makes sense, because as a pilot, you are responsible for the lives of hundreds of people. You are away from home for many days at a time, and you may have to fly through many different time zones, which can be very difficult to adjust to. Number one on the list was military personnel, soldier, and number two was firefighter. Of course, jobs like these are very dangerous. You must put your life in danger almost daily. Interestingly, however, taxi driver was also on the list at number 10. Okay. I'm going to show you the previous reading so you can have a screenshot of it and you can check uh, that with your uh, own answers. Okay. Okay. Look at this. So there you have it. Um, you can take a screenshot, right? Um, and if you need the audio, so I can send it to you. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to start passing the attendance list, guys, because it's time, sadly, but we're about to end. Please uh, don't miss the, our next class. So it's going to be tomorrow. That's our last class. So please uh, don't miss it. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Um, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Es Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present. Thanks, Irma. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thanks. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño Lopez. Present teacher. Thanks. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vasquez. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Okay, Jacqueline. Um, Juan Carlos Maravilla Mendez. Thanks, Juan Carlos. Carla Abigail Aguilar. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Thanks, Carlita. Present. Thanks, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijan. Present. Thanks, Raul Antonio Perez. Present. Thanks. Rene Giovanni Martinez. Ruth Maria Los Amaya de Guardado. And Saul Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, guys. Uh, well, that's all for today's lesson. We'll be um, here again tomorrow. Okay, guys. If you have any question, you can ask. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Saul, do you have any question? No, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, Saul. So you have oh. yeah. tell me do you have less one class for us mm. you have left left one class for, for finish that mm, i don't get it do you have oh. left one class yeah we're missing a class it's going to be tomorrow tomorrow yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Okay. See you, Saul. If you have any questions, give me a text. Okay. Bye bye.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.